Hello everyone, this is Sidekick Jason doing another behind the scenes tour. So again, we're still on Natford Station. It has been over a week now and I am sick of this set, but I wanted to do one last behind the scenes feature because I just barely finished up with all of it. So I am done with this set and I can put it away. And yeah, I am just happy to be done with that. I've filmed so much on it, so much great content. Um, it'll be fun to edit it, all of it together someday, um, but for now I am just sick <laughs> of looking at it, so I am going to do this behind the scenes feature, take a break, and then I'm going to tear this whole thing down and build something else to film on, so gotta move forward with all of this stuff. So what I wanted to show you guys today is the way I did the lighting for these night scenes because it turned out really awesome. So I'm going to, I'll just show you guys really fast. So I'll take you guys on a tour of this area of the office or the studio in the future. But for now, um, so I have three different cords here that I plug in to change in which lighting is over here. You gotta also turn off these lights. So plugging those in puts the blue lights on. So you know it gives that night feel to the set without it being so dark that you can't see anything. One thing I've noticed though is that my camera like darkens stuff whenever I zoom in. So if I like get super close, it becomes so much harder to see than if I, you know, had it zoomed out and it's brighter. So I've rigged this set to also have the new, well, I don't know if it'll be new by the time you guys get to see this, but recently released Woodland Scenics um, Just Plug Lighting System, which has been awesome because it allows me to kind of create this portable lighting system that isn't permanent that I can, you know, use on various sets and stuff. So I'm gonna plug it in right now. Give me one second. Um, okay, here we go. So I just plugged it in, and this is what it looks like. And I think it turned out gorgeous. Like having, having the lights inside the station interior um, is just beautiful, absolutely amazing. They will get so many good looking shots. Um, it's fun having, like filming all this, like gives me so many ideas for future stories. Like, I mean, not a ton happens at Natford at night for seasons three and four. And I kind of like regret that I didn't write more, but it's cool. That, like, I know for sure as I'm editing this stuff in the future, I'm definitely gonna be looking back and being like, huh, there's like, I really like this. I didn't take, didn't like take advantage of the potential of it and stuff. And so I think I'm gonna come up with a lot of good story ideas and change a lot of the writing. Well, not change, but you know, write more to um, accommodate these things that I think I didn't take advantage of. So I also, so here we can take a look at what these lights are. So they're single lights. You can get like actual lamp posts and stuff. Um, but it's just this light that I've attached um, to this G scale signal. So that way I could, you know, have it on a pole and actually like put some light on the set. So it, um, was a little brighter. Um, so, but what's awesome about it is that there's this little control panel that you connect everything to. And so I can, let's see. No, that's not the right one. I guess it doesn't really matter because this is the last time. So you can actually adjust the lighting um, so you noticed back there, I made Natford super bright, um, but I can control it to get, you know, what I want the set to look like. So, I mean, I could go crazy, but since, you know, I don't have all the, um, like if I was gonna do this properly, I would probably get like three more lights. So there would be six there total, but three in the front, three in the back. And then that way the whole station interior would be lit up. But since I only have four right now, cause you know, I'm not gonna, I, I wanna be a little conservative on my spending, but um, so I, I 
put three in there, and then the fourth one I put on this pole so that way I could um, be able to shine down onto the set and make it look like there was lights in the yard and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it turned out great. I love it. I would definitely recommend it for anyone um, interested in wanting to do night scenes and adding some light to your sets. If you, um, it's a little pricey, but if you don't have like electrical knowledge and know how to wire things and stuff, like when I filmed season one, there was lights in Knapford Station and uh, Tidna Sheds. And I, I wired those myself, like using my basic Boy Scout <laughs> electricity knowledge and, um, I was able to do it, but it wasn't the best and it was very time consuming and it wasn't reliable because, you know, it was handmade by myself. So I would definitely recommend if you don't like have a lot of knowledge and you're able to, you know, spare a few dollars, um, like if it's easier for you to earn the money than it is for you to go out of your way to come up with the, um, than to spend the time creating this on your own, I would highly recommend um, purchasing this lighting system because there's so much variety to it. I mean, you can plug and unplug and like rearrange and organize things. Like you can make it permanent if you want, but the nice thing for me is that I don't have to. I don't feel like I'm screwing in uh, drilling holes and like having to um, put specific lights in places that I'll like only get to use once. So I'm quite happy with how everything turned out with it. Highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, so you guys can say goodbye to good old Knapford Station. Turned out beautiful. I mean, this isn't the last time I'll probably ever film on it, but it'll be the last time at least for a little while. But we've got bigger and better sets. Well, I don't know if bigger. Yeah, bigger is probably not the best word because this is probably one of the biggest sets we'll ever film on. Um, but we have other sets to get to, and I'm excited for you guys to see everything come together. So I shall talk to you guys later.